So you find the perfect product idea and you find a way to differentiate and make it even better. So now you have a unique offering. But will that product sell? What's happening, guys? Today, I have a very, very cool tool to share with you. I'm actually very surprised this even exists. And I really think it's going to help you in determining whether or not a product is going to sell. And you can even test this before actually sourcing the product and paying, for example, your 30% down payment. And this is called ViewTest. You can see it on screen here. Just ViewTest.com if you want to learn more about the service and, and what it can do. But they also have a Chrome extension. You can see with this icon here. And this is what you're going to want to add to Chrome. And this is also currently free. So how does this thing work? Well, remember our listing images video we did with that whiskey set? We're going to use that as an example here. So you can see we're just on Amazon and you want to go to your market. So in this case, whiskey glass set. That's the market we're looking at. This is where we want to test our potential offering and see what it's going to look like. So once you're at this stage, you're simply going to click the view test icon now that it's added to Chrome. And you can see this box pops up over here. Now you're going to want to drop in a title. So I've done some keyword research, just created a simple title for the product over here. And then you need to decide on a review count here. So I've put in 31 reviews, a $40 sale price and a star rating of 4.5. Now you could also do this with say 10 reviews in review count, but keep it lower. You want to see how is this going to look in the beginning with a lower review count? Is that main image enough? And in turn, is our product enough to stand out and sell not so much based on reviews, but based on the value and the uniqueness of the offering. And then you want to browse and find your main images. So now we have added our main image here just from our computer, from our device. And you can also crop the image or reposition it. And you can do A-B testing at this point. So if I select that, I can actually choose a secondary main image. This is really useful because as we've covered, it's a good idea to have multiple main images. And now that we've added all of that, we can simply click on test image. Now you can see what it has done is it's actually inserted our offering into this market. So now you're able to scroll here and it looks as if this is already live on Amazon. So this is a very good thing, number one for you to see, but you can also then copy link as you can see here. You can copy link and then I recommend you share this with people who don't know which offering is yours. So you can do like mini focus group tests in this way. If you're part of small communities of sellers or anything like that, you could also share this with them. They're not going to know which offering is yours, but you're able to get feedback from people on, you know, which offering would they choose on this page and why or on this line of products and why. So you're able to focus group test and see how valuable your offering actually looks on Amazon before you even source it. So if I zoom out a bit here, you can see a little more comparison to these items. And if we disable these extensions, it will be even clearer. So now that we've disabled that extension, you can see here it's more comparative and we can see how we look against these offers. I'm also much more inclined toward this image now that I've tested it and I can see it on the page. This looks a lot better. So it's very useful in optimizing your images, choosing the right image, even at this point. So you're saving money in a sense because you're not having to test that with like PPC. But also we're able to see, okay, is this enough? Does it jump off enough? What are we missing? What do the other main images have that we should include? And then remember, you can simply copy this link and share it with others for their feedback. Or you could even just screenshot this and then share it with people and say, out of these eight offerings, what would you choose and why? And I recommend choosing individuals who you think are part of your ideal customer group, people who would be looking to buy that type of product. So it might be, you know, for Father's Day, which one would you buy for your dad, etc. in this case, because we know that's our ideal customer. Or another example in this case is, if you were to buy an anniversary gift for dad or for your husband, which one of these eight would you choose? So try to find your ideal customer because that's how you've developed this product and that's how you know it is purchased. But overall, guys, really impressed with this tool. The owner actually reached out to me because he knows I'm very big on main image optimization, etc. 
And I've actually personally thought of this type of idea before, but of course he's he's developed this and, and created a very cool tool. So I recommend you check it out below. Totally free currently, so I would jump on it. I'll leave a link in the description and pinned comment for you below. Remember to smash that like button if you did find this helpful, if this is something you're gonna use, and let me know what you think of it below. I'd love to start a conversation there. Hope you're all keeping really well and I'll catch you in the next session.